Y'all, it's a leap year. <laughs> everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i'm jaya but you can call me holly j and today i am giving you a get ready with me so i've already done my eyebrows and i have some plans for today and i got some things i want to talk about <laughs> it's so crazy because i've tried to record this video or i tried to record a chit chat get ready with me prior to this video but it just wasn't working i didn't have a camera yet and i just wasn't feeling it so here we go with my second attempt to create a get ready with me i'm gonna prime my face i have not done this in forever but um i went and got the juvia's place um what is it called magic I am magic velvet matte foundation and I have been feeling like it was I have been feeling like it was like melting and like not lasting all day so I mentioned it to some people and they say you know maybe you should prime your face and like then set your face and it's actually been helping because I really love the finish of this foundation but it just I was thinking maybe because I don't necessarily wear make I never used to wear makeup as long as I did um now that I I work and I and I try to wear makeup and so it's like on there for like a full day and I usually wear makeup to go like out and that's like only a few hours so I didn't know if it was any one of those two things but um this little combination has been helping and I just use the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder. There we go. I just use this, you know, Aaliyah J Verified. It's affordable. It gets the job done for sure. I think I still like Laura Mercier more, but this is just so full. Like, it's just like, it's so much in product in here. So yeah, I'm just kind of setting my face. Oh, and the primer I use, it's old. It was, it's the Urban Decay one. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. It's when I used to work at Sephora. It was a blurring effect one. I really liked it. And it was, it had like a moisturizing kind of feel to it, but it's like a blurring one. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not big on primer, so I just, that's just what I have. But anyways, y'all, it's a leap year. So it's February 29th. Like what? Happy February 29th. Like, we never have February 29th. And today is February 29th. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, y'all, it is March. And if that doesn't scare you, then I don't know what will. Because, boo, it's March. Like, don't play with your, with your, with, with time, baby. Because it ain't playing with us. It is not playing with us. Last week. Was it last week? Yeah, last week. And this is like been happening since he's been home. But last week, my boyfriend, you know, we were together or whatever. Here and stuff like that. And it was all cool, you know. Um, since he's been like back from school, we see each other a lot more often. But um it's just something that I've like been thinking about. I just don't know. And y'all tell me how y'all feel about this, but I'm having real untraditional feelings about living conditions. I think I'm a fan of both of us having our own room because I value my space that much. And he pisses me off. It's a set order that I like to have, even when it's junky. It's just a set order I like to have, and he just disturbs that. <laughs> I had these feelings prior too. Like I'm like, I may want to just like, like we could just have our own two rooms. Like who says you have to sleep in the same? Like you have to sleep in the same room. And it's not to say that we wouldn't sleep in the same bed or whatever, but there's two rooms. 
So you have the option to not do that. Like, I don't know. I don't have to do what everybody else is doing. And I'm just like, I think that's healthy. Dang. I see you every day. Like, <sighs> anyways. So, it's officially been two months at my job. It's going well. But I don't, I would be, I would be a fraud if I sit here and say that, um, so it's the greatest thing ever and this, that, and the third. Cause no, I'm tired. I say I'm tired. I am tired. Okay. I'm tired. I'm trying to get up at a reasonable time in the morning. I'm trying to work full time. Then come home and work out. And also manage, you know, YouTube and the It Gal building brands and trying to get enough sleep because I'm a night owl and then I started all over the next day and I didn't get enough sleep, which makes getting up hard, which makes being at work the whole day tiring, which means I, I don't get any time back because I want to make sure I commit to work it out and then when I come back from working out I'm like you really should put a dent in some some content or editing something and then again it starts over so I'm tired I am tired y'all I'm tired you know I'm blessed and I'll and I'll and I'll, I'll keep saying that because it is the whole heart of truth and things are actually picking up too where I'm like getting more into the content creation and one of the ideas that I presented just this Wednesday to the team is moving forward and this is gonna be my baby. And I'm basically bringing like influencers to my job. Like I'm implementing like an influencer program and I think that's super dope. Things are starting to pick up because for a little bit I was just like, man. And I mean, still to this day, you know, I be at work and I'm just like, Man, I could be editing a video right now, or man, I could be doing this, or man, I could be doing that. I'm sure we all have those kind of sentiments if you are, you know, working full time and you have a passion for something. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta fund your dreams, and I'm just happy to be in a position to do so. My job has allowed me to be able to expand a few things with the It Gal, um, hosting this event, and you know, having a venue and you know decorating and just trying to elevate so i can't complain like i i i didn't want to complain for so long on it i haven't been wanting to speak on it because it's just like yeah you feel that way but you're blessed you know but i'm tired i'm i'm here to tell you i'm tired i'm juggling a lot of things and i'm spearheading a lot of things because you know it's a lot it's it's all a part of the plan Um, did y'all hear Lil Baby new album? I haven't finished it all the way, but um I've been here, I'm just seeing a little couple tweets. I ain't really feeling it. I mean I like get ugly so far, but it does seem like the singles that came out are like the hot songs, like that's just what's hot. Um, who really came hard was Moneybag Yo, and I'm so like proud of him because but uh, I can't find my tweet. Okay. And time served. Oh, he went in. I feel like he finally got it right. Management and label and, you know, maybe producer, engineer, all that. I think he he's just in a better space and he really got it right because I have not liked any of that federal stuff, none of that, um, since Heartless, that first mixtape and then the other stuff was just like what is this and then time served dropping like so obsessed with real love it's disgusting summer walker did what she had to do i had to put my lashes on early and do my makeup because lashes are so finicky and if you mess up then it's like all on your eyelid and you taking it off and you put it back on and you got concealer on and it's just a whole Thing I've been really kind of like feeling it's just you know the thoughts of like wanting my own living space and 
I know, I know. Don't rush it. Don't rush. Save your money. Save your coin. I know. Trust me. I've been told. I'm listening. I would be lying if I didn't say it's kind. It's like frustrating sometimes. You really just want your own living space. I'm home. And this is just me, but I don't know if other people feel this way. For me, like living at home is. I feel like. I owe my family at least a little bit of my time to like talk to them, tell them about how they connect. When sometimes I don't want to do that. Sometimes I just want to come home, go go in my room. Like I, what I really want to be able to do is like come home, blast some music, drink my wine, you know, really just be in my space by myself and just vibe. I'm craving my independence, but I know that I, I gotta work to get to my independence. I wanna be able to create freely as well. Living at home, you know, I'm confined to some limitations. And why I didn't know if I want a weekly vlog is because, not only because I feel like I don't have enough going on, because I see vlogs all the time where people aren't really doing much, but it's their personality. But more so just like wanting to move freely and like vlog and like be myself and just create. Ooh, these lashes are pretty are LA colors 3d foam mink locks mink locks mink, mink lashes in Jody these are cute these are like extension but yeah y'all I just been having like feelings I really had like a dream job even like and it used to frustrate me in college like I don't have a dream job like who dreams of labor right no, for real though. No. It's never, nothing never really like stuck for me, but YouTube and like being able to create. I don't have a dream job, but I have a dream lifestyle. And that lifestyle is to create, lead, and inspire. And have reasons to travel and be social. That's the lifestyle. So it's like figuring out what's going to allow me that. And I don't, I never really had a dream job. And, you know, then YouTube comes and it's like, no wonder I never had a dream job because my dream job never existed until, you know, in later in these more recent years. And I'm late to the game a little bit, but it's like, hey, I just feel like I'm made for it, you know? I feel like sometimes living at home is just like restricting me. But I'm not in a position to to change that right now. So I'm trying not to let that hinder me. But it's a little frustrating. I take heed to people's advice and experience. And um, I learn from people. And they, and unanimously, people say don't do it, you know, until you are, you are ready. And so that's what I'm working on. I'm working on being ready. <laughs> So back on the topic of working, y'all, I truly understand why women aspire to be stay-at-home wives and moms. I get it now. At first, I didn't really get it. Because for me, I have a really strong work ethic and I have passions and like um, goals and I'm all about women's empowerment and not to say stay-at-home mom is women empowerment. Like, don't get me wrong, don't twist those words. Like, women being able to be their own boss and um, have their own thing going on that they that they, that they they made and that they put themselves on with and stuff like that. Like, I'm all for that. But when I tell you I understand, baby, I understand. I do not aspire to be working on 9 to 5 for the rest of my life. No. Nope. But yeah, y'all. Moral of the story is I'm tired. I'm putting in the extra work. I'm not giving up. I'm craving independence. I am considering unconventional living situate living conditions whenever me and mine move in together. Because why subject myself to that? <laughs> or or it's either that, you know. Over time, we just learn how to coexist with each other. Like we figure out what's working, what's not. And I, I mean, I can say when we are together, it's not for like, you know, in, indefinitely. So I feel like if it was, we would learn. 
what it really isn't gonna work from each other so that we can both live comfortably but baby when he just come to visit i'm just like i don't know if i can do this i don't know if i can do this because you're really pissing me off no i'm not enjoying this and i grew up by myself really so i never really had to share my space so that's definitely new for me okay face looking real cute real snatched yeah y'all i'm just gonna be real honest like i really hope you know this chit chat is going it's flowing everything's new how about that like everything's new i'm trying not to be so hard on myself so much youtube so i just feel like i know what i'm supposed to do but it's a little bit more hard like it's a little harder doing it than um watching it i think what it is for me is i'll have topics on my mind i'm like oh i should do a chit chat get ready with me on that but it's like in the moment so then the moment pass or the week goes by and it ain't as fresh so then it's like Okay, I gotta bring that back up when my thoughts about it aren't as fresh. Wish I could just like sit down and record when I feel it. And that's probably what I'm gonna have to do, but it doesn't always add up. Like it doesn't always line up. So my face is about done. I don't even really contour my nose. Like the girls go so crazy over nose contour and I don't even really contour my nose. I think I just do it just because. I don't even know if it's right. I just do it. All right, so okay, we get in there, add some blush, and put a little color on our eyelids. Not color for real, but like, you know, dimension. So if y'all had a choice, which city would you move to? LA or New York? Comment down below. My answer, is new york and i know it's cold like that's the only thing that turned me off about new york i just feel like i belong in new york like not long term but i can see myself there the person i am and the things i'm interested in i feel like i would meet the right people there people like-minded people i meet go-getters I love who I have in my circle like I love every one of them in their own right they add to my life in their own way grateful I have friends that I've had since the sixth grade that you don't hear a lot so I'm forever blessed but I feel like I'm missing a boss friend I'm missing a boss friend once I meet someone that's committed to my vision I'm committed to their vision you know it it meshes and with us in each other's corner i just think everything gonna go up for both of us and i haven't met that person yet everybody needs that especially if you're if that's the kind of girl you are like i want me a jayla corian oh she is just everything hold on let me get my flat iron jayla is just everything it's a perfect representation of a black girl yes there's plenty plenty of black influencers like i adore Aaliyah. i adore Aaliyah j i love me some kyra i love me some jayla majet like i love these people but jayla Corian, she just does it for me just a boss she just gets it done whether she's got help or not she just stands for every black girl i feel like like any black girl can see themselves in jayla she's just so freaking relatable and she's like literally gold i aspire to be that type of that type of role model for someone like she is for me but i love her you don't know about Jayla Corian, you sleep. That's that baby. I love Aaliyah, but Aaliyah, I don't know. I'm brown, so like for me to see Jayla, it just resonates so much more. Like she is me. She's college college educated. She's she's a girl that had to like you know go through puberty and grow into her features. It's not cookie cutter um, beauty. This is like raw, real black girl beauty. 
real black girl magic, black girl realness. I just love her. I don't know if I told y'all what I'm about to go do, but I'm about to go to this taco festival. All right, so I'm gonna finish my hair and put my clothes on. And I'm gonna come back, show y'all the final look, take me some pics, and head out for the day. Okay, y'all, so here's the final look. I got my lip on. Um, I put this hat on because we're gonna do a little leopard and black look. And so I got this one shoulder black top. Got my Pacey's on. But then I got mom jeans. And I'm wearing some more leopard accessories, but I'm gonna take some pictures. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I know I do it. I watch people I love to watch and still forget to subscribe. So do not forget to subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Again, thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys in my vlog. Peace.